Hey guys, it's Honey, and welcome to my video. So first of all, I would really like it if you guys would go over here and watch this video I did for Altered Illusions. It is a spoof of Paranormal Activity, and it is hilarious, and it is a must-see. So please go over there and watch that for me, and subscribe to them if you haven't already. Remember, I'm on there every Sunday. So today, I'm going to do the RuPaul's Drag Race tag for you guys. It is my favorite television show, and the new season is in full swing and fresh on everybody's mind, so there's no greater time to do this. And feel free to do this tag and leave it as a video response here. Question number one, best season. The best season to me is season three. It's the first season that I watched and a lot of crazy stuff happens in it. There's twists around every corner. It has a very diverse group of contestants. And best of all, it's the longest season with like 16 episodes, I think. Number two, best contestant. The best contestant to me is Manila Luzon. At the end of the day, I think she's the most versatile of any of them, and she pulls off a number of many different things to make a great queen. Number three, the most robbed contestant. Um, that's easily to me penetration. To think that Penny gets sent home first in a world where others, who I will not name, stuck around longer is just bizarre to me. And her dress wasn't even that bad. I mean, really? Really? Number four, the biggest bitch, Fifi O'Hara. Number five, the best elimination. The best elimination is when Mimi I'm First got eliminated in season three because she picked up um, India and RuPaul was like, oh, this is not a contact sport. So it was like she was being punished for it. It was hilarious and I was so happy to see her go. Number six, best winner of any challenge. That would be season four, episode one, when Sharon Needles won the post-apocalyptic runway challenge. At that point, nobody really knew what she was capable of, and a lot of people had underestimated her, and she went out on that runway, and she fucking set the world straight. Number seven, best mini challenge. That would probably be season five, where they lip sync through the cutout of RuPaul's mouth. That was fucking hilarious and actually relevant, so yeah. Number eight, best main challenge. The one I'm going to have to go with is an All-Stars, the superhero challenge. I thought that was so creative and it had a great outcome. Number nine, best lip sync ever. Sharon Needles versus Fifi O'Hara, season four to um, It's Raining Men. They were mortal enemies and they both did generally well at the lip sync and it was just like the most tense moment in history. Number 10, best runway presentation. I'm going to have to go with Chad Michaels in season four. When she came down the runway in the giraffe outfit to the Glamazon, it was everything to me. 11. Best dress by any contestant. This is too hard to choose from, so I'm just going to pick off the top of my head. Um, I thought Lanasha Sparks' dress in the first episode of season 5 was flawless. And to think that she made that out of a fucking trash bin in the snap of a finger, she definitely should have won that. That's honestly been one of the greatest things to ever hit the show. 12. Best quote by any contestant. I'm gonna have to go with Raja in season three when she was talking about Stacey and she said, um, you know, Stacey's a sweet person and I'd love to sip sweet tea on the back porch listen to the bullfrogs and back swamp. I nearly pissed myself laughing at that. Raja was ripe with one-liners and that was one of her greatest. 13. Best quote by RuPaul. She said something one time to somebody, I'm not sure who it was, but she said expectations lead to resentment. And I can get behind that 100% because I, as you can imagine, have a very crazy and very active imagination. And I'm always coming up with like outcomes of things in my head. And when they don't turn out exactly how I expected them to, it's kind of disappointing and kind of really sucks for me. 14, best judge, um, case closed, Michelle Visage. I love her. 15, the best comedy scene. Um, I'm gonna go with the Gaffin and All Stars when they um, were coming out of the wall through the little doors. That was one of the funniest moments on the show. Not even because the actual content was funny, which some of it was, but it was like <laughs> the biggest what the fuck moment ever. 16, best fight. Um, Hands down, Shangela versus Mimi, I'm first in Untucked when um, they were talking about the sugar daddy and Shangela through the drink on her. I love that. I replay that over and over and over in my head a million times. 17, best goodbye note. Um, I guess Serena Cha-Cha's because that means she was gone. 18, best lip sync song, Glamazon. It is my favorite RuPaul song ever and I've actually performed it and it is the most fun. I wish I could do it every single time. That's an idea. 
and the actual lip sync to it between Chad, Sharon, and Phoebe was great and really fun to watch as well. Number 19, the most overrated contestant. I've answered this before and I will answer again. That is Jujube. She's great, she's sweet, she's funny, she's hilarious, and I love her. But she's so overrated. Her drag is such a snore sometimes. And like I've said, it looks like she works at Macy's. No offense to retail workers. And she like bombs nearly every challenge she's given. So yeah, all tea, all shade. And 20, the most underrated contestant. Morgan McMichaels. Her eighth place finish was bogus. She is amazing. She's one of the best performers that the show has ever had. She should have made it way farther. She should have been in the top three that season and she should have come back for all stars. So that's my answer for the RuPaul's Drag Race tag and again if you'd like to do it please do. And if you enjoyed watching me for these few minutes please subscribe above and please believe me there is a lot greater stuff where this comes from. And stay tuned Thursday for episode 3 of the most popular girls of Drag Race. Bye!